Hello guys. Okay, so feeling better today, obviously. Today's video is going to be about the mass shooting in Las Vegas. Obviously, it is still under um, police investigation right now, so there's not a lot that we do know about what happened or why it happened. So I'm going to go over what I do know, and we're just going to go off that. Now, a man named Mr. Paddock, I can't remember his first name, saved my life. <laughs> Apparently he had like, um, 12 guns that were made to be automatic, where they shot out all constantly. Um, he also had explosives and several devices in 10 fucking bags that he would bring into his hotel room periodically. And apparently the people selling him these guns didn't seem to think anything wrong with it. So, that just kind of pushes all that. But anyway, he killed 59 people and injured 500 at a country concert I don't remember whose concert it was but he did it at a concert I don't know if he did it from his hotel room or if he left his hotel room for it we also don't know what his whole idea was behind this my mother thinks that well my mother has her theories and I have mine my theory is that he wanted to commit suicide and his idea was to take out as many people as he could before killing himself. Now, there's another theory that he got shot by the cops when they went in there. That could have happened too. So, there's many variations. We'll just have to wait and see as to what the cops find out. Um, they did find out that he wired money to the Philippines, which coincidentally is where his girlfriend is at this current present time. So, not entirely sure as to what that is about. It's sad that we can't even go a year without something bad happening. It makes me seriously question everything about society and about humans and about everything. It's just sad. Now, I did have, I do have a list of people that were victims, but I'm not that type of person. So I'm going to put it in the link below if you want to actually read the whole story and find stuff out about it. But I will not, and I cannot, post pictures of the bodies, nor will I say their names or anything. This is supposed to be private. These pe the families of these people are mourning, and I'm not about to post it all over the internet. It's... Now, I did do that with the Columbine thing because a lot of years have passed and people have come to terms with it, so that's okay. Because we're not basically posting it all over the internet, per se. My video was a way of mem remembering. And Mr. Paddock, or however you say his name... He very well could have been mentally ill, he could have had something seriously wrong with him, or he could have just been simply suicidal or homicidal. Or he just really hated people. I know that I go onto this channel and I tell people how I'm antisocial or how I don't like people, which is true on both counts. But I could never bring myself to go to a concert and shoot people. That's not me. I would never do that. But there are people out there that would. And people out there that think it's okay. And people out there that are so mentally unstable in the head that they don't know any better. Or any type of reason for somebody doing this. I was also reading part of the, his the thing on it. President Trump gets on there and he says something about going back towards the gun laws and they're divided on the gun laws and blah 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 
that's all fine and well, but there is such thing as the black market. You don't need a license to get guns on the black market. You don't need a license to get anything on the black market, to be perfectly honest. All you need is money. So, whether or not people, or whether or not the government, says it's okay for the rest of us to buy guns, it's not going to stop people from getting a hold of guns. It's just not humanly possible. There are too many variations of the black market out there and too many guns in said black market for it to just go away because you decided to make them Ill illegal or take them away from people. It doesn't really work that way. Now, am I saying that people should be able to get guns at the drop of a hat? No. I think everyone should be put through a series of tests or mental tests or whatever before they're allowed to own a gun. If you are not mentally stable, you should not be allowed to have one. And that is basically my whole idea on that. I do not think that it should be illegal to have guns because at the end of the day, you kind of need them. Criminals are not going to have to stop having guns, so why should we? If they come into our house and start shooting up people, it's kind of pointless to just fucking stand there and say, do whatever you want because I'm not armed and can't be armed. So, I think we should allow guns, but I think that there should be heavy, heavy, and I mean very fucking heavy, tests and screenings that peeps, every, in, every individual has to go through that should have to go through to get guns. And I think it should be with that way with the military as well. If you are unstable, you should not be able to own a gun. Now, granted, if you're on medication and you actually take them on a regular basis, you should have to show proof that you take medication on a regular basis. Like blood tests and all that shit every year or every month depending on how long you want to wait to sh prove that you are taking medication and you are trying to fix the mental issues up here before you should be allowed a gun because there are some people out there that are actively trying to fix their problems and they shouldn't be punished for it by not not being allowed allowed to protect themselves with a gun or have it in case something happens this man, I seriously think, was either homicidal or suicidal, or he just wanted to hurt a lot of people in one go, and he accomplished it. The 59 people includes him, which tells you that he either killed himself or he was killed around the same time as the 58 other people. He had placed a bunch of cam camera at his peephole on on his uh, hotel room. He also placed cameras inside the to outside the hotel room to watch it. He started shooting at around ten oh eight. Stopped shooting at around ten nineteen. I think I may be wrong on that. I'll post it in the link below. You'll be able to fi find out the correct numbers. He was 64 years old. Now, my, it, it again raises my question. What exactly was he thinking? Why did he do this? Why did he think it was okay? And why was he wiring money into the Philippines? We may never know, or the cops may find out eventually, but if they don't, we may never know. And I feel incredibly sad and tired of hearing every little disaster, every disaster that has ever happens. I'm tired of it happening every year. I'm tired of it becoming a regular thing. And we should be doing more than throwing a fit over children or athletes not standing for the Pledge of Allegiance or 
getting down on their knees and actually praying. Apparently that's wrong now. You don't know if those people that were on their knees were doing that. You don't know if they were praying. And the fact that we're having such a fit about it when we have better things to focus on. Like the fact that there are people out there who think it's okay to go to a fucking public concert and shoot people. Or think it's okay to go and bomb something. Or any number of things. We, we have so much more to focus on. And we should be taking into consideration those events instead of focusing on little trivial things such as the Pledge of Allegiance and who doesn't stand or who does. It's really not that important, guys. And I'm not Christian. I'm far from it, actually. But people have said that they will pray for these people. Pray for the families and everything. I will pray to my God because I don't think any of this should have happened. I think that it could have been avoided, but I'm not entirely sure as to how it could have been avoided yet. But I'm pretty sure it could have. And it's just a very sad, sad thing. So... I'm going to leave this parting thing for everyone here. Everyone who actually watches my channel. Don't focus on the little things. Focus on the big things. Like these, the families of these 58 people who are going to either get a phone call or get a visit from a police officer or get a phone call from a police officer and being told that their son, their daughter, or their husband, or brother, or any number of people, their family, was shot down and killed because a guy who's 64 years old decided that it was okay to do this. We need to focus on that. The fact that these people are going to be hurting and that they're going to be angry and rightfully so. And they're going to be very, very sad. And probably have to go to counseling. So, that is all I wanted to say in this video. I thought I would integrate a more on the whole Pledge of Allegiance thing. Because I really don't think it's that big of a deal. I just think people are throwing a fit over it for nothing. And this basically just proves it. And it will prove it more if I go onto Facebook in the next few days and see people throwing a fit over it instead of focusing on the big issue at hand. So yeah, that is the end of my video. Um, I did at some point, I did sometime in the past make a video on guns and on um, Columbine and a few other things. So please refer to those videos. And hopefully it'll give you more insight to what I believe in versus gun laws and things like that. And I will see you guys next time.